Hi guys and welcome back to my new beauty video. Recently, people around me have been giving me compliments that my skin has improved in the last couple of months. Therefore, I decided to share with you my tricks. In today's video, I will give you my advice how I made it look better, how I got rid of my acne and acne scars, how I made it look healthier and more youthful. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. For those who are not familiar with my story, as a teenager, I haven't had any problems with acne. All started after my puberty. I didn't understand why and I have been fighting with it over 10 years. At the moment, I'm happy with my skin appearance. It is still not perfect. I still get a few of acne scars and sometimes one or two pimples pop out, but I know how to fight it. We all know that healthy eating habits are extremely important. So what is then important for our skin and what should we avoid? You are going to find out now. I did cut off sugar from my diet something like a year and a half ago. Not just white refined sugar, but all the other types of sugars such as brown, raw and so on. It was causing me problems, but since I stopped consuming it, I got much better and I got rid of my acne. Remember that sugar is a drug and poison for our body. It is not only an acne trigger, but it also dehydrates the skin. Due to the fact that my occupation is a pastry chef, I'm in close contact with this poison for many years. And more and more I used to consume it, more and more my body was asking for it. So one day I said to myself, enough! And I knew that giving it up is not going to be easy, that's why I took it easy at the beginning. And at the start of my journey I was using alternatives such as honey, dried dates, dried figs and sweet fruits. I felt kind of dizzy and moody during first months of my detox. But after something like six months, I started to feel great and also my acne was gone. As well, I'm planning to make a video how to prepare my everyday super healthy and delicious smoothies. So if you don't want to miss it out, then don't forget to subscribe. Of course, I'm not saint and time to time I dine in the restaurant. Or I get myself takeaway or prepacked food where can be certain amount of sugar. But you won't find any sweets or cakes in my diet for more than a year. What's the maximum is me leaking spoon during tasting at work. I honestly think skin must be nourished first of all from the inside. That's why I'm trying to eat healthy, not just by cutting off the sugar, but also reducing intake of alcohol, repacked food, fried food and takeaways. And lastly, I'm trying to avoid too salty, smoked or too fatty meals. For comparison, I have here for you a summary of healthy and unhealthy food. So take a screenshot print it and keep it on the visible place. Antioxidants are the best to fight aging and to make your skin in overall looking better. Here are some of the sources of antioxidants. If you want some tips for healthy meals, then check out my recipe for tasty chocolate granola or try my healthy avocado salad. Links for these videos will be in the description box. I don't follow any diets, I just listen to my body. I usually eat red meat if I'm feeling weak, and I'm aware that I've been active and I know I haven't had it for a while. Apparently, it's not right to consume it on a daily basis. It is due to the fact that its digestion takes way too long and that's why we should be careful. On the other hand, what we should consume every day is a handful of nuts, which help to nourish our body and improve our brain function. Here you can see roughly a recommended daily nuts intake. When I feel that my stomach is overloaded and it's time for me to fast, sometimes I take a break for even up to 16 hours. And remember, when you will be eating well, you won't just feel great, but you will also look great. And it will be visible on your skin too. So keep the right balance and don't forget to consume as well proteins. The recommended daily intake is about 60 grams for men and 46 grams for women. Here you can find some of the most healthy sources of proteins. Somewhere I heard that Eskimo people consume only proteins and they live without sugar. But I'm not very familiar with this topic, so I can promise that our body can live without sugar. During busy days I like to shake up a protein powder. This is the one I always stick to. It supplies my body not just with proteins from quinoa, peas and rice, but also it gives other types of nourishment. As well it's soy, dairy and nuts free and suitable for vegans. My grandma's tummy is very sensitive and she loves this product because it's very easy to digest and doesn't cause any bloating. If you're interested to check it out, DM me on my Instagram or send me an email. There is a possible discount for your first purchase. 
sponsor of today's video is my sister Katarina, who is a distributor and nutritional advisor for brand Herbalife for over 10 years. Thank you Katarina for sponsoring this video. You can check out more products of this brand on this website. Daily recommended intake of carbohydrates is between 225 and 325 grams. Watch out for empty carbohydrates, such as white rice, white bread and white pasta. Their excessive consumption may cause dehydration of skin, obesity and so on. Here you can find some of the healthier examples of carbohydrates. And last but not least, we cannot forget about healthy fats, whose daily recommended intake should be between 44 and 77 grams. Get inspired what to eat from this list. I hope you all are aware how important is the drinking regime, especially drinking of plain tap water or packed still water. Believe it or not, water has been my favorite drink since childhood. Of course, sometimes I forget to drink recommended amount, but that's why I like to control it by drinking it from the bottle. Be careful with plastic bottles and try to keep it out of very high temperatures because plastic has a tendency to loosen up and it might be toxic for your body. And please, recycle unusable bottles. My morning routine and secret for a beauty is drinking lemon water on empty stomach. Every morning I have a cup of water with half juiced lemon in it. Almost all the time I'm trying to drink water at room temperature. As well, I've got myself this filtering jar to improve the quality. Luckily, I'm not a big fan of soft drinks, which could be probably causing my acne because of its high sugar content and chemicals. When it comes to hot drinks, I love to drink any type of herbal tea, which are, as we all know, full of benefits for our health and beauty. I also like to try out different organic tea blends, which helps with my detox. Occasionally happens that I'm extremely tired, that's the time when I grab a cup of green tea. Unfortunately, consumption of coffee makes me feel unwell. But I know that one or two coffees a day can be beneficial. If there is a time to celebrate, I mostly grab organic certified beer or wine. I know it's hard to cut off some food, but you can still eat so many other delicious food. You can try to take it step by step. Make a resolution for a year and try to quit each bad product one at a time. Replacing it with some new healthier version. Don't forget that everything is possible and everything is replaceable. So this was roughly what I'm consuming and what helps to my skin to stay in a good form. I got for you more videos coming up about my personal advices. I will talk about supplements, daily regime, skincare from the outside and so on. So don't forget to subscribe and take care for now.